So what you like to start selling and doing some dropshipping with AliExpress using Equid in the 2024? Let's see how we can get started in a very easy way. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started with Equid. So once you are directly into the link that I just gave you directly from Equid, it's going to be asking you to sign in. In this case, I'm going to register with my Google account in order to continue. The process for the registration is going to be really easy. Just provide an email as well as a passcode, verify your passcode, and you might be able to get started here into Equid. Now here, what you want to do, the second step is to install the Equid application. So once you're signed out, you can install the application into your website platform or integrate it with various website builders. For example, you can integrate this with WordPress, with Wix, with Wiply, and others. Even what you can do is to use the actual Equid to create your actual website and you don't have to even make the activation for absolutely anything else. So now that you have your Equid account, what I want to be doing here is to first of all get started by adding an AliExpress account. So after installing the Equid application, what I'm going to do is to look out for an actual sales channel. So if you focus here into the part that says application, let's go for app market. Here into mod Equid, what you can do is to look out for drop shipping. If I click here into drop shipping, you can see that there's a lot of applications where you can just get started with some drop shipping. So to make some drop shipping using AliExpress, what we need to do is to look out for an application that has the AliExpress suppliers. Now, Sub Drop Shipping usually has a free plan and has products that are related into AliExpress. So now that we are inside the shopdropshipping.com, what we can do is to get started with the lookout for products. So in this case, what we can do is to scroll a little bit down and choose for, scroll a little bit down and choose for the categories. So I'm going to go for a category here. And let's say, for example, that I look out for some home and living. So here into home and living, I have a lot of product that I can start selling. I can choose the product I wanted to add. I choose to list it to the store. So as you can see here, it's going to be asking me which is the actual variant of our products. So in this case, I have the store. Make sure this one appears as Equid and the category. So in this case, if you don't have a category, I can do and create one. So for example, let's say home uh, products. And then here, the shipping from, usually I'm going to leave this, the shipping and the shipping method like this as it is. And lastly, the setting up of the price. So here I have the images, the SKU, the color, the size, and the cost. So make sure that the store price is higher than the actual lastly code that you have in here. So this one plus this one costs around 20 more, 29 for example, $30. So if you wanted to earn a little bit of money, let's say for example you have an estimate profit of 30%, what you can do is to go here to set your price and adding more. If you want to have an estimate profit of the 33%, I have here the actual total price. So with that being said, I can go now into listed now. So just wait a few minutes till your product has now been imported directly into Equid. So once you have just wait a few minutes here, what you can do is to go back here into Equid and look out for your catalog. Directly here into the catalog, what you can do is to make sure that your product has now been appearing here inside Equid. So for example, here, as you can see, we have the product that we have just added. So what I can do is to check out how it actually looks. So I can go here, select the product and see how it actually looks. I'm going to hit into view into my store. So as you can see, it actually appears my product. In this case, here it is. So I'm going to click in it. And here is my product. Here is the color. Here is the price. Here is the size, the information about my product. And I can choose to watch them all. What you can do is to add much more elements directly here into Equid. For example, here inside my dashboard, now what I'm going to be doing here is to customize my store. So customizing your Equid store aligns with your brand and creating a seamless shopping experience for your customers. So you can customize the layout, you can customize the experience for the customers, you can customize the product categories, the description, and the images to showcase your product effectively. So I'm going to choose small, I have square, and there we go. So customize it as you want to. Even what you can do is to create your CSS theme to customize your store as much or as little as you want. So we can have additional options to copy and paste code for edit the CSS directly. And you can create your own theme if you wanted to. But in this case, I'm going to just leave this as it is. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is just to make sure that I have just saved this and view my actual new store. So as you can see, here is my product. Here is 
um, as you can see the product of my store and everything has not been set it really easy so that's totally depending where you're actually looking at so lastly what you can do is to promote your store so once your store has been setting up it's time to promote it to attract more customers you can utilize digital marketing channels such as the social media email marketing influence marketing depending here into the lip high you can go here into marketing and do some google ads facebook ads adding discount codes and so much more so you can just be free to add as much product as you want do the monitor performance do the promotion of your store and there you're actually good to go so guys with that being said you have not reached the very end of the video you now have you now set up this drop shipping with the aliexpress using the equit into the 2024 with dedication, creativity, and strategy planning, your dropshipping business has the potential to thrive into the competitive and e-commerce landscape, guys. So with that being said, I have reached the very end of the video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with others. Stay tuned for the only media for more valuable tips and tutorials. Until next time.